Bar Harbor, Maine is located on Mount Desert Island. It's the largest offshore island off the lower 48. For hundreds of years, tourists have come here. Bar Harbor is just one port on this very big island, but it's a place where the locals say the weather stays better than other parts of the island. So we're sitting in Bar Harbor, and all around us is clouds coming from the other way. I'll show you here. And, <laughs> and they tell us that the reason for that is that the weather system comes in from the other side of the island and that this, there's so much granite on the top of the mountain that we think that it heats up and comes up around there and it keeps the clouds from coming this direction. Now, I don't know if that's what a weatherman would tell you, but that's what the guy at the bike shop said. And right now, I believe the guy at the bike shop. Cruise ships are big business on Bar Harbor. They anchor just offshore and thousands, I mean thousands of tourists come to town every day. It's overwhelming in October, but they say in the summer, it's just amazing. Lobster is everywhere. That's what people do here. Fishermen, you can stand right on the dock and watch them bringing in crate after crate of lobster. And you don't have to just find it in the stores. Lobsters are everywhere. It's on everything. It's a huge deal. Lobster, lobster, lobster. Well, and there's that other crustacean that gets a little attention. There's a really cool trail you can walk around. It lines the waterfront, loops around and back around town. You can see lots of really cool old houses and beautiful scenery of the ocean and the port and those cruise ships. Fall really is a good time to go to Bar Harbor or Northern Maine. A lot of the tourists have gone. There's still people there, but in the summer they say you can hardly get a reservation at a restaurant. It's really expensive. And it's just a good time when you get there in the fall, just as the season's beginning to shut down. You see, by November, the island will completely shut down, leaving only a few hundred residents left here to watch the stores and watch people's homes. Bar Harbor really is a cool looking little town. My wife would describe it as cute, but it is a good time, like I said, to go there because everything's on clearance at the end of the season. They're trying to get rid of it. And you can go and find all kinds of room for you to go to Bar Harbor Tea Company, or there's even a place um, that kind of reminded me a little bit of Eugene. Nah, not cool as a moose. There you go. The Hemporium. Little Eugene everywhere. Eh, and Stone Soup. There it's a restaurant. Back here, it's Jan Elliott in a cartoon. Lots of history, lots of restaurants, lots of places to visit, and a lot of outside seating because this really is a summer town and winter is when everything is closed down. Down on the waterfront, you got pubs, lots of places to stay. There's that lobster again, and some really good food. That was one of our favorite restaurants right there. People sitting on the street, drinking coffee. But by the end of the summer, the people who wait on you at the restaurants are a little tired of tourists. So here's what we've learned about New England when you go out to eat. You never ask for things to be different. You don't ask for a side salad if it doesn't say it on the menu. <laughs> you, you, you don't question the waiter or waitress about anything because they give you this look. And then they walk away and it's very awkward. So that's my word of warning to anyone coming to New England is don't ask questions, just eat your damn food. <laughs> The East Coast really is different from the West. People are nice. I mean, they're nice, but there's an abruptness that you don't experience much in the Northwest. History, though, is everywhere. And you find places, beautiful, beautiful homes, lots of places to stay. And it's just a charming feel to it as you're sitting out watching the boats, looking at the water. A lot of famous names and old money are in this community, or were. There's even this little plaque, there's a walking tour you can do by yourself, shows some of the old homes, and then you actually walk down the streets and see some of those homes that are still here. And the relatives of them still own these places and their families have been coming here for generation after generation. And here's something really cool, right by those homes, See that road that goes across the other island? Well, actually, during high tide, that's covered with water. So when, it, when the tide goes out, people go out to find it. We'll be right back with more on our trip to New England.